famous Japanese actor Ken Matsudaira has transformed into an android for a commercial series promoting the Smart TV Box, a high-tech cable television interface designed as an android version of himself. In the advertisement, he performs a new, more techno-infused version of his iconic dance. At one point, he reappears on stage in his android costume, only to come face-to-face -face with his robotized replica. The android was developed over four months as part of KDDI's commercial campaign for the Smart TV Box. Its face is made of silicone and closely resembles Matsudaira's own, as it was cast from his actual face. He had to plaster his face and lie still for about an hour. Apart from the head, the android is essentially a robotic body, almost the same height as the actor. It can move its facial muscles and neck. The android's face remarkably resembles Matsudaira's, taking improvements in the android sector to a higher level. After several months of anticipation, Agabot has finally released its new robot, the Raze A1. The A1 is a humanoid robot standing at 1.75 meters tall and weighing 53 kilograms. Initially designed for factory settings, it aims to find its place in home kitchens. The robot has achieved stable walking capabilities and can reach speeds of up to 7 kilometers per hour. It is a versatile machine capable of tasks such as tightening bolts on assembly lines, handling inspection tools, conducting external vehicle inspections, and even being used in laboratory experiments. With 49 degrees degrees of freedom, the robot can withstand up to 80 kilograms of weight throughout its structure. Each of its arms can bear a load of up to 5 kilograms. Legs are the most important element of bipedal robots, and the robot employs a unique approach. Its knees have a reverse joint, providing it with a broader range of motion and greater flexibility compared to humans. The company stated that it would strive to keep the price of the robot below 200,000 yuan, approximately $30,000 per unit. The faces of humanoid robots are one of the most important interfaces for fast and effective communication with humans, as they must match the expressive capabilities of the human face. A small group of Japanese researchers has created a childlike human head called a fedo, which they claim is capable of feeling pain through a range of facial expressions such as smiling and frowning. These facial expressions can be generated using soft materials like skin covering the robot, using 116 different facial points. Now this realistic looking child robot head can feel pain or human suffering, thanks to synthetic skin developed by a team from Osaka University in Japan. Although the researchers faced challenges in balancing applied force and adjusting synthetic skin, they were able to use their system to fine-tune deformation blocks for precise control of Afeto's facial surface movements. They also hope that this technology will contribute to improving human-robot interactions, especially in the context of caring for children or patients. Honda has unveiled a remotely controlled avatar robot, the Honda Avatar, equipped with a multi-jointed arm developed as part of the Asimo project and other robotics research. The aim is to implement an arm that is delicately capable of handling small objects while being strong enough to open solid lids, similar to human capability. For remote control, the operator wears protective glasses and gloves to track hand movements. Additionally, the multi-jointed arm is working on creating a unique AI-supported remote control feature, enabling it to smoothly grasp objects through a series of motions and manipulate tools with precise force control. The robot is expected to be used by doctors for remote diagnostics and treatment in a virtual environment, as well as for various tasks and training purposes. Sony's Manipulator is an innovative robot hand equipped with a group of sensors for stable grasping of unknown objects that contain uncertainties such as shape, weight, and friction coefficient. To accurately measure the position and shape of an object, it is equipped with an overhead camera mounted near its head, sending information to both the arm and hand for movements. Grasp force control technology allows the robot to grasp unknown objects, while a motion planning system generates a continuous collision-free trajectory toward the target position. Sony combines all three of these technologies to establish manipulation technology that can be safely even under complex conditions. However, in the future, various use cases going beyond the logistics and manufacturing industry, such as housework and product restocking tasks in the service industry, are expected to be realized. The concept robot you see here is capable of stably grasping an unknown object based on simple instructions from humans. Eric is a humanoid robot under development in the JST Moonshot program. This robot is expected to be applied not only in our general life, but also in the fields of medical care, nursing, and long-term care. Eric uses equipment manufactured by the Tokyo Robotics Startup, where each connection is equipped with a built-in high-resolution torque sensor and a gel-like material resembling human skin on the surface. The movement itself is soft, and it can be easily monitored even by a person moving it from the outside. The robot stands out for its flexibility and high performance. With a current maximum payload capacity of 20 kilograms, it can withstand 8 kilograms even in the most challenging positions and is capable of helping to move a person from a bed to a wheelchair. 
Xiaopeng Motors unveiled its first self-developed humanoid bipedal robot, the PX5, at the Xiaopeng Automotive Technology Day. This robot boasts top-tier bipedal walking and obstacle crossing capabilities in the industry, achieved through its self-developed high-performance joints, ensuring high stability and robot locomotion. It can perform indoor and outdoor walking and obstacle traversal for more than two hours. Additionally, the PX5 features ultra-lightweight humanoid arms and dexterous hands, with 11 degrees of freedom in a single hand and a gripping force of one kilogram. It uses a hybrid rigid soft drive scheme, allowing it to grasp and envelop objects of various shapes. Notably, the PX5 integrates control and drive in one unit, with a total weight of only 430 grams, and is equipped with endpoint tactile perception capabilities. Although the PX5 model is currently 1.5 meters tall, the Xping Motors chairman expects subsequent iterations to be larger in size. The increase in size will allow the robot to take longer steps, with the ultimate goal of walking 10 kilometers with a load and up to 100 kilometers without tripping. UB Tech, a Chinese AI and robotics company, has unveiled a humanoid robot named Panda, which was used as a robot guide for the China Pavilion at Expo 2020 in Dubai. The robot, which is 1.3 meters tall and weighs 63 kilograms, has an adorable black and white expressive face. The panda's fun and engaging behavior has made it popular with robot lovers and audiences around the world. The panda robot was created using the iconic image of a panda and incorporates original cutting edge technologies based on the humanoid robot walker. The robot aims to convey to the world the spirit of creativity, collaboration, and determination of UB Tech Robotics through its expressive and lifelike expression and multimodal design. Tokyo Robotics, a company dedicated to creating an efficient society through advanced robots, has released a full-body humanoid robot named Tawala, previously only presented to affiliated organizations. Mobile full-body humanoid robots are expected to be the next generation of autonomous robots, but there are few commercially available products, and research and development of their applications have not progressed significantly. To address these challenges, the company has introduced the Tawala humanoid robot. It has a height ranging from 1300 to 1640 millimeters, a reach of 700 and 40 millimeters and a cart width of 720 millimeters closely resembling human size the payload capacity of one arm is six kilograms maintaining sufficient strength even in challenging positions making it suitable for various applications an optional hand force sensor is also available providing precise control of hand force write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the caro show channel also check out our previous videos See you next time.